terrorism has been evolving since 9-11. The new strip terrorism in the West is inspired terrorism, a form of terrorism where cells do not host large-scale attacks and instead use people that are sympathetic to their cause to do their, their dirty work. The nearly guaranteed disproportionate response to terror acts in the Western world, the use of social media, and the emergence of an organized terrorist state that is able to produce propaganda have contributed to the rise of inspired terrorism. Terrorism is a tactic. It is a tactic used by those with little or no political power as a way to obtain a platform. A terrorist act will be covered, often extensively, by the media. Any goals or ideas a terror group holds will be brought to the public and analyzed. Media coverage of a terror act can influence the population to accept or understand the group's views, especially when a media institution is sympathetic. Another goal of terrorism is to incite fear and uncertainty within the populace and to make them distrust their government. A disproportionate response from the government following an act of terrorism makes the public feel repressed, especially when individual rights are taken away and when such a response fails to quell terror activity, an example being the enactment of the War Measures Act in 1970. Military strikes do not address underlying issues and causes of terrorism. Instead, they cause more loss of life. A newer platform for the sharing of terror ideas is social media. Most lone wolf attackers participate in some sort of network, which are run by people that may not be directly involved or willing to commit terror activity, but who sympathize with and enable those who will carry out attacks. Online, radical ideas can spread without real-life consequence. Terror accounts often pop back up with slight variation in name only days or hours after being banned. With this news, we should consider that 79% of lone wolf attackers' family fr or friends or they had a, uh, a member of their family or friends who knew about their radical ideas, and four-fifths of them had one that knew about their involvement with terrorism. This sort of terrorism is preventable if people come forward. Old-fashioned propaganda has also been affected by the internet. ISIL produces a magazine called Ramaya, previously named Abik, which works at demonizing the West and encouraging young people to take up the cause. Terrorists have always created media, an example being the FLQ's manifesto, but the internet makes a convenient place for propaganda to be spread. Terrorism has shifted with the means available in the information age, but its aim remains constant, to draw attention to and create sympathy for a centralized cause. As a whole, terror activity in the West has definitely increased since 9-11.